up air force it's your girl eric melanie's back again with another video and this is very random but um if y'all notice my natural eye color yeah you see her getting the sun because my eyes ain't black <laughs> <laughs> nah but um i tell me why and i've been new this by the way but i don't think i ever told y'all but my insurance or not my insurance my eye doctors they had um used my insurance twice when i was buying contacts because i usually buy them like sem semi-annually right and um apparently they wasn't supposed to do that so when i had called to place my order for more contacts they gonna tell me oh you gotta wait till january i was like what like i'm gonna be out of contacts like i need to order more contacts or whatever so i'm thinking like when i had bought them the last time i'm thinking just whenever i need to buy more contacts i just use my insurance every time like i didn't know it was like a limit so they was like that only cover it once or whatever and i was like that's funny because the last time i placed the order i did it twice in one year so i'm very confused and then she went in the system she saw what happened and she was like that wasn't supposed to happen she wasn't sure like how it happened or why but she was just like that wasn't supposed to happen usually they only do it like they only cover it once a year or whatever and then you gotta pay out of pocket which mind you they don't cover the whole amount of the contacts anyway but they only cover a certain amount and you have to pay the rest regardless but they cover a majority of it but still contacts is expensive and I just feel like what be the point in having insurance if you still be having to pay for certain stuff like that's so dumb to me but anyway so long story short I had to end up counting my contacts to see how much how many more I had left before I ran out and um she ended up giving me a whole bunch of like free trial lenses in my prescription just to get me over the year before I needed to buy more lenses so I just been using them using the plain clear contacts until i feel like ordering more because i was gonna order it like january 2nd but then i was like actually i'm gonna wait until i get paid because if i have to pay if i can only get the coverage one time a year which mind you obviously if say i did it like mid-year which would be so much more smarter but anywho if i did it like mid-year so like say june if i wanted to be able to maximize the amount of times i can use my insurance without paying too much out of pocket because if i bought them in june that gave me six months to go into another year before i purchase them again so that way i could technically use my insurance twice even though i'm only using it once a year y'all see what i'm trying to say versus buying them um, in january and having to get them for the whole year in order to be able to use my insurance because if i buy them six months at a time that's obviously less expensive because it's less contacts so it'll be like six boxes at a time versus 12. but obviously if i want to use my insurance to cover it then i would have to use i mean then i would have to buy all 12 boxes which i want to say is probably 150 dollars that's obviously with it being you know color and whatever so and usually i think i pay with like 50 each time which i don't mind paying but it's just like dang like y'all be taxing for real so it's like hmm i don't know but anyway it's going on five minutes talking about these doggone contacts but uh i was trying to figure out if i wanted to you know just go back to playing clear contacts but then i'm like dang i don't know because i like the gray like i really do like the gray so i'm like hmm should i give them one more year or i don't know but either way i'm waiting till i get paid to order more because obviously if i have to pay you know 150 out of pocket then yeah so i'm gonna just wait till then and use up as many of these trial lenses that I can, as I can, because like I said, they did give me a lot, so I have some to spare. So that's where we at right now. But 
today i'ma finally go we gonna see if i get my rook checked out i cleaned it today i'm not gonna zoom in because like it still got like a little bump on it or whatever but i'm going to a different shop than i got pierced so um i don't know if they would check it or not i'll have to see but i'm gonna see what they say about it if i need to like clean it or do anything different and then um but i'm going to a different shop because i want to get like a standard nose hoop and then probably like a a stud with some type of gold in it because i bro y'all remember when i got pierced and i bought a gold hoop i can't find that hoop but anyway i need to take this hoop out because it's really tarnished like when i get it taken out i'm gonna show y'all up close what it look like but it was starting to like irritate my nose a little bit at the bottom so i need to get this jewelry changed and i'm debating whether i want to put in my other gold hoop my fancy hoop or if i want to buy because i'm probably gonna buy a standard silver and gold hoop just to have so that you know if the other fancy one tarnished because i mean it's not necessarily fancy it's just like not basic it's it was cheap but it wasn't um it's not just plain silver or gold it has like a design on it y'all will see later but yeah so i don't have to worry about not having hoops anymore like if i want to buy more fancy ones i can but at least i have those for backup and i know that you know they ain't gonna tarnish on me but i need to get those i need to get a stud with gold in it but we just gonna see what they have the other shop they be having cute jewelry but they be taxing so at this other place i'm gonna see what they got and i'm gonna for sure get at least one plain hoop in either silver or gold and then try to get the stud if they don't have the stud then i'm gonna get both silver and gold hoops because i don't know what happened to my gold hoop i really need to find it i was trying to find it the other day and i could not find it to save my life and why should you know you know how you buy something else because you be like oh well i lost it and then after you buy it you find it i hope that don't happen but anyway so that's on our itinerary today i'm gonna finally go ahead and get that out the way so i'm gonna do that i gotta get gas i gotta get food so yeah let's just get into it <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and show y'all these now because now that I'm looking at this one up close, I, I'm kind of having a little bit of doubts about putting it in. I don't know. I feel like this should be like a special occasion one. I don't know. But this one at the top, as you can see, it's very large. Um, on the website, it did say cartilage, but it was still under the nose ring section, but that's like real big. So I'm pretty sure that wouldn't fit in my nose. And then this one, I don't know how fast it's going to tarnish. So I might just end up getting something new to change out what I currently have. We're going to see. All right, y'all. So I'm here right now. I'm trying to talk real low because I'm not like in a secluded area. I'm over here by myself. But like there's other people in here, just not in super close proximity. So I'm going to show y'all. I <laughs> This was not part of the plan. I got my rook changed because I like the jewelry and I have picked it really for my nose but um she was saying that usually when people get it in their nose it's like towards the bottom and it doesn't like move so she was just recommending other areas for me to insert the jewelry or whatever so um I end up saying rook because eventually I wanted to change my rook jewelry anyway. So I was like, hmm, I mean, I might as well since I was going to eventually. So that's what I chose to do. And I had already picked out a plain silver hoop and this champagne-ish colored stud. So we back basic with it. This is the stud. This is the hoop. I wish they had a gold hoop. They had different colors, but I'm happy with this one because it has nothing to do with the color, but I like the fact that it's a clicker. So that's basically what I came for because I know my cousin had got a clicker from here before too. So um, yeah, that's just 
more easier for me to <laughs> like deal with in terms of like taking it out because that's why I never took my hoops out because just putting it back on straight was too hard so I was looking for clickers specifically so I got that so now we just need to get a gold clicker from where I don't know maybe they'll get gold jewelry in soon but um yeah the only thing about this stud is it's not flat so I'm hoping that it doesn't like I'll tell y'all later but <laughs> the stud I initially was pierced with um had the same type of back behind like the jewelry I'll explain better later but yeah that's the update and now I'm just waiting to switch out my septum jewelry because I don't know why I didn't think about that when I first was picking stuff out but I remember after so I was like since I'm here I might as well do it so I picked out some new septum jewelry which is also a clicker so stay tuned all right y'all so new septum in a pack it's a little bit snug i hope that don't be no type of issue but it's cute or whatever um hold on my grandma calling me all right y'all so this is the new look it's cute or whatever it be taking me a minute to adjust to new jewelry like i just be feeling like i look so different <laughs> Like, I used to have a hoop on this side and the stud on this side, but I told her to switch it because when, um, was it this? Was it this side that I got? No, this was the first side I got here. I'm sure it had to be. Yeah. Yeah. And, um, I didn't want to put a hoop on this side so soon. So when I first got the the butterfly hoops and whatnot, I was like, we could just keep it on this side until, you know, it's been over a year for this. And I got it pierced August, 2021. So at this point, it's been a year and September, October, November, December, January, like a year and five months, so. I was like, we can go ahead and switch because mainly because like I was going to tell y'all when I was in there. Hold on. Because I don't remember I put on hand sanitizer. Major key. Don't just be touching your face out here in these streets with dirty hands. But anywho, so like I was trying to tell y'all earlier with this one. I don't know if y'all can see, but like it's not flat underneath the stud. You know so like the L I was pierced with I feel like it sunk into my nose and made like this embedded like <laughs> I don't even know what to call it but like this indentation in my piercing at the top and I was like oh my gosh is that gonna go away like what and so yeah but um yeah and obviously i don't want it to like just be sitting on top of my nose like poking out but i also don't want it to like sink into my nose either we gonna see with that and um yeah when i was first looking at myself i was kind of like because i always <laughs> when i can't like when i look at myself with new jewelry i don't know why it feels like it's uneven or something like and I feel like it's always going to look uneven per se if you have a hoop and a stud. I've ne I don't think I've ever just had two studs in my nose at the same time. But obviously, I feel like the, the um, hoop, since it's going downward, like it's not sitting on top of the hole. So it's going to look like lower than the stud, in my opinion. I could be wrong. But 
yeah i always be extra like doing like this like are they even am i holding my face wrong like is it lopsided i be doing the most <laughs> but yeah this is the new look it's growing on me where was some lights coming from that was doing me justice i need that back but um yeah and i like this new septum you know since it got the little stud on it it matched my smiley i must say accept them again <laughs> match my smiley my smiley just thinner engage and never want to be even yeah it matched my smiley and now i think i'm gonna go get some wound wash for my ear so that i don't have to be um you know doing the q-tip thing anymore um i feel like my nose is already starting to adjust to you know the snugness of the septum and let me know if y'all think it looks like too snug like what is it giving i don't know but yeah i think it's cute it's growing on me it's back like plain jane ish but i still like it though we gonna see how often i end up changing my jewelry now but yeah I still have yet to try out my beauty supply store, um, L Benz, but I needed to get what I got today because both of these are clickers. So this is a clicker. This is a clicker. I just didn't want, you know, the things that were like hard to get back to a perfect circle. Like I was trying to get that out of my, yeah, I'm going to still have them for emergencies, but like I wanted to, you know, have these in my archive or whatever but anywho oh and i almost forgot to tell y'all so the lady thinks she lost the back to my other no well she did lose the back of, of the um nose ring because it's not in the bag it might have fell on the floor i don't know where it fell because i didn't feel it go in my nose but for a minute she was trying to like grab it and like asking you to use my flashlight and stuff to see like and she was like you know going around in there to try to get it with like the tool or whatever and the whole time i'm thinking like it's like a booger or something like because <laughs> she didn't tell me what it was at first she was just like lean over you know blow your nose this is that and third trying to um get me to get it out or whatever she was like you see it or whatever i'm like no because i'm not even knowing what i'm looking for but obviously if i seen something then i was gonna say you know yeah but i was like i don't see nothing or whatever and then i just asked i was like what is it she was like the back and i was like <laughs> go like <laughs> i was like excuse me like <laughs> um so long story short we never found it um she said if anything i might end up you know sneezing it out or whatever and um that i could use like a saline wash or something like that and you know she was just basically like it's nowhere for it to go or whatever and it's like yeah but i didn't feel it go in my nose so i don't think it's in my nose but at the same time i don't know so like that's kind of scary to not know if you got no an earring back or a nose ring back in your nostril somewhere in the abyss like that's a scary thought but hopefully there's nothing back there and she was just tripping and it fell on the floor if we ever locate it again i will let y'all know because not we but i mean we as in me i'll let y'all know but yeah i'm gonna go get some food i'm gonna get gas tomorrow and well i'm gonna go to walmart first because i need to get that wash for my rook because since it's not, um, it don't have a ball to cover the scar no more. I can clearly see, you know, the um, scarring or whatever. So I'll be able to directly spray it in there. And hopefully, you know, we get that squared away and out the way effective immediately. And um, yeah, so this is the new look. This is what she's giving. And let me know what y'all think is she giving even i just feel like it looks so much more even with the other jewelry but at the same time it's like 
I feel like I was just used to that being on my face. Here I go, rambling, thinking too deep into stuff. But yeah, I'll see y'all in the next clip. <laughs> All right, y'all. So this is what the butterfly was starting to look like. And yeah, you can see why my nose was starting to get a little irritated. Because girl, what is that? I had already noticed the um like the jewelry around the butterfly part like y'all see the dots that's like starting to get you know other colors but it was really when the ring started doing it for me like y'all see that yeah it was time so she's going in the trash it was a good run um yeah it's been real 